On today's show, we're talking drones. Hey there, folks. Welcome back to the photo video show. We explore all things photography. I'm your host, Mark Puckett. And on today's show, I want to chat with you guys just a smidge about drone technology. So these days, it seems like just about everyone in the mama is getting into uh, drones and to a smaller extent, the photography and the videography side. And I've got to admit that I, too, have also been a little bit curious about at least the drone photography and videography part of the whole craze these days. I think to a large extent that a lot of people are just curious about technology to see what it can actually do or whether they can even fly it and stuff like that. But there are a lot of drone manufacturers these days that are trying their best to make it a lot more user friendly, a lot more ease of use for the common man, I would say. And they're also trying to make it so that anyone with a few hundred bucks can go out, buy a drone and take some really cool aerial photography. So I plan to show you several different options that I have been currently considering. Okay, so most of you already know about DJI's uh, Phantom drones. They've been around for at least, what, three or four years now? On the upside, these drones are, for the most part, fairly easy to fly. They do, in fact, come with a controller with just a wicked range of about 1.2 miles. Uh, you do get your camera holder and you get uh, the full-size RC remote. I want to show you this. Uh, I thought that their promotional material is honestly quite good, so check that out. My job is to make sure that I capture every moment. So I want to make sure that I can get as close as possible to all of the magic that's happening, all they love. My name is Mish, I'm a wedding videographer. The Phantom 3 is uh, groundbreaking because I can come from all the way up by the ceiling and come down and show everyone at the wedding from above. We got a shot that I love. I was sitting in the back of the cathedral and I got to have my camera all the way up close for that first kiss. I could fly it back and see everyone at their wedding who was sharing the moment with them, that you can have something in the air that is just as reliable as something that you would hold in your hand. It's pretty awesome, yeah? Um, the base price is right around 1100 bucks, and that comes with the drone, the remote controller, and uh, I think one battery, and of course a charger. But there are a couple of other options that have materialized here recently, neither one currently in production, but I did at least want to uh, show you guys these particular drones and see what you all think about how they're gonna potentially compare to the DJI Phantom 3. So, without further ado, I want to introduce you to the Lily camera drone. Now, I don't know about you guys, but 
that drone blew my mind when I saw its promotion material. Now, granted, I'm going to try to reserve any level of hype for the, the media, the people that are looking to get clickbait and get you to tap on buttons and stuff like that. The Lily camera drone seems to be like a serious evolution in technology because I think that at least for a uh, videography standpoint, if you want to track motion anybody, you just put that little GPS tracker in their pocket or whatever, and you can get these massively awesome uh, tracking shots where it requires little to no input from an operator. And I think that that is a huge evolution in uh, drone technology. I don't know about the rest of you, but I was seriously, seriously impressed. Now, the last drone I want to show you guys is called the Sci-Fi, I believe. And this one, just like the Lily camera, is not expected to be delivered until February of 2016. So we've got little under a year to wait if you decide to go with either of these cameras. And I say cameras because I'm a photographer and I really like the camera part. So without further ado, I'm going to show you this drone and then we come back. What do you think it takes to get high quality drone footage like this? A professional drone operator? A cameraman? Expensive equipment? Or simply this? Introducing the Sci-Fi Level 1 Drone, a drone that lets absolutely anyone capture footage like never before. Sci-Fi's Level Up technology is the real breakthrough. By using six rotors, the drone can fly without tilting, making it simple and intuitive enough for anyone to fly. Plus, you get professional, stable footage without an exposed gimbal. Because Level Up gets rid of the usual multi-rotor wild tilting, the interface can be simplified. To fly, just swipe. Swiping is a superior interface that allows you to see what you're capturing while flying, unlike tilting or joystick-only navigation. Our flying interface can be downloaded as an app on your smartphone. It's simple, accurate, and fun. Because drone flying is better when it's shared, the Level 1 can post shots and video real-time to your social network of choice. And with the new GeoFence technology, you can define the area in which you want to fly. Your drone will stay within your boundaries of choice, allowing everyone from beginners to experts to practice their piloting skills with confidence. So far, Sci-Fi Works has been building drones for industrial application. But we want to bring our drone inventions to everyone at consumer-friendly prices. Plus, we just love robots. Mm. So really, we put our full technological expertise into designing a drone for the consumer that gives professional video quality and stability, but doesn't require professional knowledge to fly it. Our drone will come with a 1080p high quality camera, and it will be ready out of the box for everything from family videos, to action filming, to home inspection. So why Kickstarter? Sci-Fi is made up of a small, passionate group of robot enthusiasts that wants to make this breakthrough technology available to everyone. And to make the leap from commercial to consumer drones, we need your support to keep the price low compared to other available drones. Thanks to the Sci-Fi Level 1's capabilities, instead of worrying about the drone itself, you can focus on the experience. The Sci-Fi Level 1 is simple to fly, captures exactly what you want, and shares it in real time. This is the first drone for absolutely everyone from the drone company, Sci-Fi. So what do you guys think? That drone actually has some pretty cool features in it as well. And for the price point of only right around, I think it's gonna be 600 bucks retail, I think you're gonna get a lot of drone for not a lot of money. Now again, they try to claim that with the um, stabilizers or the, uh, the hex, a rotocopter design that you're going to get more stable shots uh, more so than you would with the four rotor design i don't know i mean i think that seems like a legitimate claim i'm no scientist or engineer but it does seem like the more rotors you have the more stable it would be the more agile it might be but so i'd like to hear your all's thoughts uh, like i said i am no drone expert i just really love the idea of potentially getting some aerial footage and if you guys have ever played around with drones if you have any experience do you think that uh, either of these drone options could actually compete against the DJI? I do think that the Lily camera with the tracker device, that is such 
uh, an awesome concept. And now I do realize that it's not going to be able to fly as high as the DJI, at least from what I've been able to read. But I don't know, man. I'm interested in kind of all of them. But I'm definitely not going to buy all of them. Mm, decisions, decisions. Well, there you have it. There you go, folks. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up. Share this video with your friends on the social media websites and things and such as. But at any rate, thanks again for stopping here at the Photo Video Show. I'm your host, Mark Puckett, and I will see you guys again on the next one.